Everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Um, I got a couple. Well, actually, we're inside our fifth wheel. I don't know if you guys saw this last year. We traded in our travel trailer and bought this fifth wheel. Um, so doing the family vacation thing, and I hope, I plan that at least a few trips throughout the year, I can get out and do some landscape photography and some vlogs. Which my wife's looking for some pictures to hang on the wall. So kind of a good excuse for me to do that, but. As luck would have it, it is April, no, it's March, what's the date, 26th? 20 something. 27th? 27th. 27th, and it's snowing. It's uh, full blown snow outside right now. If you guys can see out the windows, it's white, because it's snowing. Um, so we're trying to get this thing all ready. I'm putting it back in storage so that next month when we start wanting to go places, we're ready to rock. Uh, but anyways, weekly assignments. I have not been posting videos about weekly assignments because I didn't know if anybody was actually interested in seeing the results of those. Uh, I've still been doing them on my own and just either not posting or posting inside Peter Forsgaard's Facebook group or sometimes put them on, on uh, Instagram. They've been okay. Uh, so I think I'll bring those back as part of videos and we'll talk about those this week. Uh, the topic is gray. So if anybody's interested in... Um, Joining me, the topic is gray this week. You guys can find me on, on Instagram like usual. And what would the week be? What hashtag should I follow? This is week 14 maybe? EJ photo assignment week 14? We'll go for that. But uh, yeah, it's gray. Um, so for the people that have been doing it, please continue to do that. And if you want to tag that on Instagram, I'll find you guys. Um, also, I want to give you guys an update. I will be giving kind of a first impressions on the GFX. I've been shooting with a little bit, mostly in JPEG, not in RAW. I want to shoot some more RAW stuff, but it's just been crappy weather. It's just really gray out and cold, so I have not been outside shooting as much. And uh, yeah, just a quick update on that. Real quick tour of the camper. Check this out. So, we've got the fireplace. It's a fake fireplace. It's just like a heat thing. But um, TV's right there. Got the stove, microwave, got the fridge. It's a pretty decent sized fridge. An island here. So uh, this has got like a farmhouse sink with a top over it so that we can uh, use it as a, a countertop space. Bunch of storage down there. Three recliners that are heated and massage. This is like the dining area. I was just doing a little vlogging. Look at the snow out there. See that? Um, so that's like the main area. And here's the kids room. My wife is in here. So got an upper bunk, got a lower bunk, and then over here is like a spot to mount a TV, everything else. Um, hopefully the audio is not too bad. And then let me show you the upstairs part. I gotta walk over these blankets. There we go. This is the bathroom, sink and a vanity, toilet vanity with a shower. It's blown out. Sorry for the overexposure. Let me, let me fix that for you. There, just like that. And then the main bedroom's up here. The kind of cool thing is you get nice big windows, a bunch of overhead storage, little nightstands. And if you come up here and look, you have uh, a wardrobe and some drawers and then a sliding door. The thing that's cool about this is that the bathroom's right here by the, by the bedroom. Yeah, right here by the bedroom. So, um, we can get in and use the bathroom stuff without waking the kids up in their in their room. And then that separate bedroom lets them kind of be boxed off so that they are able to do their thing. We can still use the main living room area while they're sleeping if they sleep past the time that we do. Right now, not the case because the kids are young, but as they get older, that might be the case. A um, bunch of other cool stuff on this. It's got a solar panel on top to kind of trickle charge the battery. So we shouldn't have dead battery issues. You can add more solar panels to live off, do the off-grid thing if you wanted to. A uh, bunch of propane tanks, backup camera, a rear hitch to put bike racks on. All that fun stuff and then it auto levels and auto goes to the hitch height to my truck so it makes it pretty easy to hook up and stuff like that so this is the new camper that we're uh, gonna be rocking for a while on this thing my wife loves it right babe oh yeah she likes it so that's it photo assignments if you guys I'll keep making videos on them I haven't done it in a while just wanted to let you guys know the reason why see you next time <laughs>